so much, Irinde. Thank you so much, Jort. Thanks to everybody from the uh, Rietveld team. And thanks to the Stedelijk, Britte Magrit. Thank you so much. So um, we will start this conference with a theme that looks towards contemporary internet culture. The overarching question for today's day is, how has contemporary internet culture affected our emotional and cognitive capacities, our abilities to feel and think? Our minds, as the 17th century philosopher Spinoza has argued, operate first in the vague and blurry field of imagination. Here, feelings and thoughts, images and, and sayings converge before reason makes sense out of them. This conference day imagines network culture as such a field of imagination, a sticky universe of emotions and ideas, and addresses how digital platforms structure and make sense and organize this space. As the internet and mobile, mobile devices become ever more important, this space is affecting, shaping, and co-constituting co the political climate as well. A political climate that is turning more and more extreme, as we have seen with Brexit, with the American election, but also with the rise of populism in Europe more broadly. One of the central concerns of today's conference is the question how and if the internet has facilitated these extreme, emotionally charged and often negative positions we have seen arising with heightened intensity. It will address the algorithmic and computational infrastructure that underpins this space, this sticky universe. It will talk about the interfaces, the platforms, and formats that disseminate our daily portion of information, and will address the relationship between shallowness and truth, emotions and ideas, fact and fictions. We will also talk about ideology, propaganda, and emerging online formats such as filter bubbles, new categories such as alternative facts, and modes of address such as memes, trolling, tweeting, that have gained a lot of traction um, as political strategies. We will start with a presentation by Paul Feigerfeld that will give us a sense of this technologically afforded infrastructure and clarify how artificial intelligence makes sense of that infrastructure for us and provides the information that we consume daily. After this, two presentations hone in on the ugly feelings that are referenced in today's conference title. By looking at the internet phenomenon that rose to prominence in recent online debates as a specific tactic, meme magic. Whereas Hannah Barton uh, will give us an account on how memes work more broadly and explain the phenomenon to us uh, in more general terms, Daniel Keller's presentation um, in the afternoon will present a proposal for a new kind of activism that can counter that kind of meme magic that has become so prominent and arguably so effective, especially during Trump's election. The afternoon program will then continue with a video lecture by Timotheus Vermeulen. Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, he cannot be here in person. What we did instead is he is at this moment typing his video lecture or his lecture, and we will screen the video, and afterwards he will be here uh, for a Skype Q&A. So we will have him here, but just technologically mediated. Um, his presentation will link to the postmodern phenomenon of shallowness and ask what and if truth has to do with postmodernism. The last contribution of today will be Elizabeth Orr's uh, performance, The Conveyor, that looks into the interconnection between interfaces and political performance. During the day, we will also be screening two videos, two short videos, by the Canadian artist Jennifer Chan, as well as um, Utsger Kar, um, an Amsterdam-based artist, who also studied at the Rietveld, by the way. 
So I would like to introduce you to the first speaker of today. Um, it's a great pleasure to be introducing you to Paul Feigefeld. I first met Paul last year at a conference in Germany um, where he gave a presentation about the increasing invisibility of digital infrastructure. And I was struck by this presentation because he was not only able to explain digital infrastructure, but he also illustrated um, his explanation with very good examples of artistic practices. On top of that, at the end of his presentation, he also gave a workshop on encryption. So I was kind of impressed by that. And um, his ability to link a, a media th a theoretical scholarly position with a, a very refined understanding of technology. So Paul's work uh, is a rare case of a scholarly practice that bridges technical expertise with media theory. He has worked with Friedrich Kittel and Wolfgang Ernst, the big figures of German media theory, and was the ac academic coordinator at the Center for Digital Cultures at Leuphana University in Lüneburg. Paul also writes about, about and works with contemporary art. He has been acting as critic, curator and advisor, and now teaches at the Art Institute in Basel, next to being a fellow at TBA 21 Academy in Vienna. And with that, I would like to give it to you.